Hey guys, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and we're taking a look at the latest version of Dolphin Browser. This is version 10. And the main theme of this uh, update is not so much features, while there are some feature improvements, but uh, it's mostly a complete redesign uh, of all visual aspects of the browser. Now everything is mostly in the same place and uh, works the same way, but what you'll notice when you start thumbing through everything uh, and sliding in the different panels and looking at the buttons and the way everything works, um, you'll start to notice that Everything has been flattened out a bit. There's fewer drop shadows. The iconography has been cleaned up and downsized. Uh, it kind of uh, went to more of a minimalistic look um, as far as all the buttons and everything. And it really brought it up into modern standards um, just for what uh, modern apps and browsers especially look like nowadays. Now there is some uh, new functionality in terms of here on the home uh, startup page, you can take your different bookmarks and rearrange them or drag them on top of each other and create folders like you would on your uh, regular home screen and uh, move them around and do all kinds of things like that. There's new functionality here in um, this uh, button down here to manage your um, settings or turning, uh, going into your gesture mode or your sonar mode or uh, managing your tab view, which gives you something a lot like what you'd see in Chrome. But in many respects, uh, the settings otherwise uh, look very similar uh, as far as what you're gonna be able to tweak and change as far as your user agent. Um, something new in the search engine is you can choose to have or not have, if you'd prefer, um, multiple different sources uh, when you search. We'll show that off in just a couple minutes here. Um, as far as everything else, you have all of your gesture support, how you want to control web content, um, whether or not you want your default browser, and you can see they changed the uh, toggle switches a little bit, and you know, just clean things up. We stick with the same green, white, and gray uh, color scheme with all the tabs and everything up top when you uh, switch around, and the same uh, gray on the inside as well. So everything has just been cleaned up, and the performance is just as good as it has been uh, in previous versions of Dolphin. I did want to show you really quick though that new search functionality. So if we are to type in something like Android, for example, you see you have these options pop up down here on the bottom to search Amazon, search YouTube, Wikipedia, eBay. So if you just hit the Wikipedia, it will then perform a Wikipedia search with whatever you had typed in that search box. So it's kind of nice to give you different options other than just performing one search at a time. You know, you can have all of those options available to you. And of course, uh, all of the uh, browsing is extremely um, snappy we haven't had any slowdowns this is on the HTC first here um, and it you know nothing um, gets slowed down even when you're pinching and pinching and zooming around and you know everything scrolls just fine and uh, you can tap in and view you know pinch and zoom everything is extremely smooth um, no matter what, which you have come to expect from Dolphin, but uh, now it's just wrapped up in a much prettier package. So that is uh, Dolphin Browser version 10, and it's gonna be hitting the Play Store today. Thanks for taking a look, guys.